Happy Monday morning, lads. I'm Dylan Mack. And I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your KWHS News. Thanks for tuning in today. Let's head to the cafeteria to find out what Miss Betsy has on the lunch menu today. Happy Monday, and welcome back from a nice weekend. There's been a change to the menu. Tuesday's menu is today, and that'll be a chicken quesadilla. And then on Halloween, we'll have a cheeseburger. Have a great day. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Please clear out your lunch charges by adding money to your account. And remember to bring in your purple free and reduced lunch form to Miss Betsy so she can process those. If you haven't already purchased a yearbook, they are only $55 in the business office for a few more weeks. Prices will go up in December, so order yours now and save yourself some money. Glad. College application deadlines are getting closer, and many colleges are visiting us. Here's the lineup. CU Denver will be here tomorrow to close out the month of October. The New York Film Academy kicks off November visit on Wednesday, November 1st, and Luther College will be here on Thursday, November 2nd. For those who are interested in the Tony and Guy Hairdressing Academy, they will be here next week on November 8th, and will be setting up a braid bar. Stop by, pick up information on the school, and get your hair done too. And currently, November visits will wrap up with Adams Day on Thursday, November 16th. Seniors, if you didn't get the financial aid or her Jones information last week, stop by the Counseling Center or check out the Counseling Center webpage. And as always, swing by the Counseling Center, pick up your hall passes for college visits. When we come back, we'll have club news for you. But first, here's Jared Grace with our Gladiator Sports Update. Good Monday morning, lads. I'm Jared Grace, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. The forensics team competed in the novice tournament at St. Mary's this weekend, and the team continues to win big. Way to go, forensics team. The forensics team is gearing up for their next tournament at Woodland Park on November 4th. Congratulations to the WHS marching band and color guard. They made us proud this weekend in the state quarterfinals. We did not have results as of broadcast time. Our Gladiator football team played their hearts out on a cold Friday night but did not manage to pin the Pine Creek Eagles. Our Glads are not out just yet. They could still clinch the league championship. Coming up for the team is Pueblo West on November 3rd at home at 7 p.m. Our Lady Glads volleyball team had a great tournament this weekend. Regionals start on November 4th. We'll have more bracket information when we get it this week. Ladies basketball camp starts today and runs until Thursday, November 2nd. Please see Mr. Washington in room 115 for more information. Gentlemen, interested in playing basketball? Coach Munoz will have an informational meeting this Wednesday, November 1st at lunch or after school in room 207. If you want to try out for the team, you should attend one of these meetings. Finally, winter sports athletes, listen up. Yellow cards and physical forms are now available in the main office. If you already have a physical on file, stop by to pick up your yellow card. Winter sports practices start on November 10th. Good luck to all our sports teams this coming weekend. That's it for a sports update. Have a great Monday. I'm Jared Grace. Now back to you, Dylan and Ethan. Thanks, Jared. Gladiator pop sockets are still on sale in the library. Get yours for only $10. Glad's the student store is open so you can stock up on some new Gladiator gear. DECA FBLA opened the store in the cafeteria before school on Mondays and Fridays and after school on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Check out the inventory in the attendance or business office. And now, as promised, here are your club and activities. Updates from Monday and Tuesday. Student Union is open in the library every afternoon from 3 to 4.15. You do need to have a sticker on your ID, like this one, to stay stay and play or to work on homework. Science Club meets today at lunch in room 121. Coding Club also meets today in room 7 from 3 to 4 p.m. with Ms. Hines. And the Spirit Club also meets after school today in rooms 502 or 511. Check your calendar for these Tuesday meetings. Forensics meets in Ms. Ellen's room at lunch. Check with her or Mr. L. Hoffer for upcoming meetings. The Environmental Club meets at lunch in room 204 and picks up recycling every other Thursday during 
during advisory. Link crew meets on Tuesday and, and Thursday during advisory in rooms 123, 124, or 201. And finally, if you're interested in the Red Cross Club, they meet at lunch on Tuesdays in room 109 with Miss Shepard. You still have time to enter the Scary Bird Contest in the library this month. Every book you check out earns you an entry for prizes. Don't be scared. Check out a book today. It's a bit early and scary to talk about final exams, well, but they are just around the corner. If you would like some help with your studying for finals, raising your grade before the semester, or just some good old tutoring, NHS students offer tutoring sessions every Thursday during advisory. Sign up in the library on Thursday mornings, and remember, the library will only be available on Thursdays for computer use and tutoring. And finally, <laughs> tomorrow is Halloween. We can wear costumes to school, but we must follow a few simple guidelines. Please do not wear full facial makeup or masks. Costumes should follow dress code rules, and a costume does not excuse you from participating in class like PE, shop, or music. The rules are simple, so get your costume ready to go. Well, that's all for us today. Have a great Monday. I'm Dylan Max. And I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your KWHS News. Have a great week.